Hello there, and welcome back to the neighborhood. Thanks to Hyphaman, we're taking a look at the Aria Organic today. I absolutely love the prior iteration, the Aria Stealth, for a while now, and the Organic is supposedly the upgrade. It definitely looks the part, but does it sound the part? Let's get into it. So I wasn't in love with the build and photos, but I have to say, in person, it's much more striking. My major issue was the square connectors in black at the bottom of the ear cups, which I just thought were a bit unsightly to some degree. They just came across as out of place in online images, but in person, I barely noticed them, and I mostly just pay attention to the wood veneer that lines the edges of the ear cups. Color-wise, the stain is somewhere between cherry and purple heart. So looks-wise, these may be my favorite hyphen men of all time, but still, I would have preferred it even more if they would have upgraded the suspension strap to something more premium, like the one that comes with the HE-1000 Stealth, as it just looks and feels more high class. Otherwise, the build of the Aria Organic is similar to that of the Aria Stealth. It's mostly made out of black metal, with a large, tall, ear-shaped enclosure for your ears, which also houses the planar magnetic driver. Like most other hyphenates of this style, it makes use of dual 3.5mm connectors at the base of the ear cups, and comes with their hybrid style ear pads, with perforated leather out on the inside, solid leather out on the outside, and a perforated cloth material on the portion that touches the face. In terms of the weight, the organic weighs in at 437 grams, a measly 4 grams increase over the Aria Stealth, and slider adjustments on each set were exactly the same for a comfortable fit on my head. The same, single-ended, cloth-covered cable that is a bit too short that came with the prior iterations of the Aria also comes with the organic. So it seems that Hi-Fi Men hasn't learned their lesson here yet. Although, I will note that the Hi-Fi Men HE-1000 Stealth, that I also have in for review, does come with both a balanced and unbalanced cable, and although they're a bit rubberized, they are significantly longer in their length. So who knows, maybe future iterations of this headphone can at least include those cables as well. But let's go ahead and jump right into the sound, because that's why you're really here, isn't it? I'll sum up the difference of this set in one word. Intensity. The bass is more intense, the treble is more intense, and the general attack is more intense. The Aria Organic certainly isn't hurting for slam, and has good impact, but in a lot of ways, compared to the Aria Stealth, we have a return to some of Hyphaman's older style planar characteristics, and it's lacking the coherence that the Aria Stealth has. In fact, the organic was almost straight up unlistenable right out of the box. But it did calm down substantially within a week of receipt from continuous play while on a stand in the corner of my room. If you don't believe in planar break-in, if you have the funds, then give this set a shot. It will all but certainly change your mind. The soundstage of this Aria is larger than the Aria Stealth, but it's not really that much larger. And still, not as large as the first version of the Aria that I reviewed prior or the HE-1000 Stealth that I also have in for review at Current as well. In the Organic's favor, it's the easiest of the three headphones that I have in at Current to drive to a comfortable listening level, and resolution may be a hair bit better too. But details also seem to clutter, smear, and blend together more in the Organic, even though they are placed more directly in the listener's face. Some listeners will likely confuse the Organic's increased forwardness and intensity for it being significantly more detailed though and I suspect that other, less than capable reviewers will likely report this observation. And Tambor, while it can be generally viewed as very good for a planar magnetic headphone, in a vacuum that is, is not as good as the Stealth is, and has some mild planar properties to it, such as a minor sheen to its notes and sustain at times. General vocal delivery also seems to take a bit of a step back with the Aria Organic compared to the Aria Stealth. It's much less intimate, and as a result, one misses the way that vocals tend to isolate often larger and in the middle, just above the rest of the mix with the Stealth, while the organic vocals are much more definitely in the mix in comparison, and not nearly as separate sounding from the rest of the track. Vocals in the Stealth are also sweeter and less direct than they are in the organic. The organic can even get a bit shouty here or there, depending upon the track, and the brilliance region of its frequency response can get more than a bit prickly with particular songs. 
This presentation wears on my ears over the course of longer listening sessions, and I can't listen to the organic indefinitely like I can with the RAS Stealth. Furthermore, percussive strikes and cymbal crashes coming from the upper registries of the ARIA organic frequency response are particularly assaultive, even if more mildly so after break-in, and to my ears, this induces more fatigue. Imaging of the organic is interesting as well, but a bit wonky on occasion, as some images appear closer than they should and others appear far away for the track. This is particularly notable with peripheral vocals, which can often jump around oddly depending upon the range of the singer. So, while this might hold one's attention and be enjoyable for certain listeners, it's definitely not supremely accurate or faithful to the music reproduction as the artist intended. Instrument distinctiveness is also pretty good, as is separation compared to a lot of other headphones, but compared to both the Aria Stealth and HE1000 Stealth, separation is worse and sonics tend to blend together and become more indiscriminate. Macro dynamics are excellent though, and better than those other sets. Transients and decay capabilities generally feel natural, but macrodynamics are somewhat more accurate than microdynamics, as they are mildly attacking and resolve somewhat quickly in comparison. Yet after a period of break-in, the Aria Organic is certainly still an outstanding headphone in the grand scheme of things, and it still might actually be the headphone of the year, at least this year, as the Aria Stealth came out over a year ago, may be out of production now, and supplies could be dwindling. It's not as coherent as its Stealth predecessor, but brings back some characteristics of the Aria line that the Stealth version of the Aria seemed to be lacking, at least according to some folks. Choosing and doing so to return the Aria to a larger soundstage and a more dynamic general response. And I don't want people to misunderstand. In terms of its intensity, it's not really a bright or sharp can per se. In fact, it's less bright and thin or sharp compared to the first Aria but it's a mildly more assaultive headphone than the Aria Stealth and HE-1000 is, returning to Haifeman's roots of a somewhat more aggressive auditory style. So in choosing the organic over the Stealth, one is giving up some of the characteristics of that headphone that made it special as well, such as an overall unparalleled coherence, more intimate vocals, greater timbre accuracy, and a generally unfatiguing nature. For my money, I'm either taking the HE-1000 Stealth are the Aria Stealth over the Organic, but your preference may vary. My wife, who admittedly is not much of an audiophile, likes the Organic's presentation a lot more than either of the Stealth variations, and finds its intensity more exciting and engaging. Perhaps you will too. Thanks again to hi Men for sending all of these headphones into the channel for review. They value this channel for its accurate and detailed reviews because they want happy customers that know what they're getting into especially when dropping cash on a headphone such as the price of this one. Links to the Aria Organic, Aria Stealth, and HE1000 Stealth will be provided in the description below, as they are generally excellent sets, all things considered. And before you go, make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't smashed that subscribe button already. Also drop a like on this video if you enjoyed its content, and consider following the channel at all other access locations, including X, Instagram, the Patreon, Discord, or www.intuitreviews.com. I appreciate all your support, and with that, I'm out for now.